Welcome to Overking, your home for tips, tricks, guides, and all sorts of educational content on Overwatch. Today's video, we're going to be talking about how Overwatch works with a controller. And specifically, we're going to be talking about the Xbox controller as well as the Steam controller. So for PC players, we're going to be mainly focusing on the Steam controller. But for console players, since Overwatch was announced for the Xbox One and the PS4, I still believe there's going to be some insight for you. Overwatch targets a casual audience. A lot of people just want to lean back and have fun and Overwatch is totally fine with that. But it's also a competitive game, obviously, and it's pretty fast paced. So this video is going to run down the positives and the negatives of using different controllers. And if you do use a particular controller, we'll give you some tips and tricks on how to make it really work. So let's get into it. So firstly, I want to say why any controller whatsoever, no matter what you're playing, if you're using a mouse with multiple buttons so you can play with just one hand or a gamepad, mouse, keyboard, if you're playing with Steam controller, Xbox controller, PlayStation 4 controller, or some other weird contraption that you plugged in via USB, I don't care. You can play Overwatch with any controller that you want because of how the game is designed. You see, similar to Team Fortress 2, Gigantic, or any other character shooter, that's kind of the point, right? You can select a character or class, and then you can play how you want to play with that class. So for instance, if I don't have the accuracy of a mouse and keyboard, I might want to go play somebody that doesn't require that much aim. We actually got a top 10 for you guys. The top 10 heroes to play if you can't aim in Overwatch. But more specifically to the topic, these characters, or any character that doesn't require an intense amount of precision, is more suited for controller play. Because literally nothing will probably ever beat mouse. So if you're not using a mouse, you should probably steer away from characters that require precision aim. But luckily, you can do that. There are different characters for different sort of strategies and require totally different skill sets. So if you still want to have fun and play Overwatch on PC with a controller, that is something that you can actually still do. But in saying that, I do want to actually use this as an opportunity to talk about why controllers have a harder time than mouse and keyboard, and specifically how in Overwatch, okay? So the level design in Overwatch, it's actually pretty standard for console games. It's quite horizontal, to be honest. But what makes it a little bit different than like your usual Call of Duties is that the characters themselves are very vertical. And the ones that do actually run parallel happen to have so much agility that it doesn't even matter. The controllers are gonna have such a hard time keeping up with that insane agility. But still, assuming that there is going to be aim assist on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 versions, it still isn't going to be enough to match every single situation. A Farah leaping into the sky, Tracer running around you, and Genji literally going in any direction that he fucking feels like. It's not going to be impossible, but I do believe that the console versions of Overwatch are going to be a little bit more uncomfortable compared to the PC. Though I don't think anybody saw or sees that going any differently. So now, yeah, since the Steam controller just came out and Overwatch is available on PC right now, well, to some, let's talk about the Steam controller. If you guys want to see the configuration that I've been using for my Steam controller, you can go to the description below. I think it's probably a really good template to get you guys started for those who want to tweak it a little bit. But for me personally, I think it's the optimum configuration. Now, you might want to change it depending on the hero that you are playing. This is a weakness of having a touchpad, which we'll get into pretty quickly here. But overall, for most characters, this configuration is probably a great starting point. But it's important to know that depending on how you have set up your controllers or your sensitivities or a number of different factors, you will play some people a little bit more optimally than others, and sometimes you just really won't be able to have fun at all with certain characters. For instance, let's turn on trackball mode. If you don't know, the Steam controller can actually emulate a trackball, which kind of gives your aiming a momentum, which means that if you flick the controller, then your aim will kind of continue, it will sort of glide in that direction for a little bit. This is really good for turning around really fast. The problem is that if you ever move your thumb away from the trackball to press a button, then you might actually disarm your aim. So for me personally, I keep it off, but I'll turn it on if I'm playing a melee hero, in which I need to be turning around a lot. If you must play somebody that requires a lot of precision, I actually did have a lot of success with Widowmaker. I just had to be very mindful of my positioning, which you need to be anyways with her. Lower down my sensitivity, and as long as you know where they're coming from, which you're Widowmaker, so yeah, you should actually do just fine. 
However, if somebody gets close to you, which is her weakness anyways, it is now going to become doubly so. And this is going to be a fault too if you have low sensitivity with any controller. However, I can say that at distances with low sensitivity, yeah, the trackpad is just as accurate as a mouse for that very small little field of view that you have. Now, if the Steam controller had on-the-fly sensitivity switching like my gaming mouse has, then mouse and keyboard might actually have a close rival. But at the moment, we do not. So no. Make sure you configure your settings to the people that you are about to play. And that's not just aiming sensitivity, that's also different mappings for the different actions. Because sometimes you need to actively be tracking or actively be aiming or actively be doing something else and you still need to perform a certain action, so you might need to remap. And you're going to have to do this probably per individual character. I think it might actually be interesting if, similar to Dota 2, if players had the ability to actually map specific heroes with different controller configurations. Maybe that's a dream. I don't know. But I do know that every character plays quite differently. And since controllers don't have the versatility of mouse and keyboard, I think that it would help. But with my experience with the Steam controller, I can say that the only issues that I really came across when, you know, I did everything perfectly and I was completely prepared was the fact that some characters really do just kind of counter controller aim. Namely Tracer, because she can kind of just like zip behind you. That's what she wants to do. Genji as well is just the same. And Farah, because she actually bounces you around while she herself is able to rocket into the air. And verticality is really hard to control with a controller. So lastly, I want to talk about the balance that's going to happen, that's going to occur during the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One's arrival of Overwatch. I do think that the balance is going to be completely separate from the PC version, namely because, as I said previously, yeah, all these different characters require different skill sets, and some characters are going to just be stronger because of the controllers. For instance, Tracer herself is really good on PC against a controller opponent. However, Tracer on the console is actually going to be kind of balanced for this reason, because Tracer is very agile, but she actually requires that agility from the user herself. You have to be just as quick to aim as the person who is shooting at you, but there are some characters that are different, such as Farah. I believe Farah is probably going to be OP on consoles because she's actually really easy to utilize. It's easier to aim with her than it is to aim at her, unless she's ulting. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy then. I bet Reaper is going to be incredibly strong because already it's super easy to aim with him. Then plus with aim assist, he's just going to be killer. But depending on how strong the aim assist is, Widowmaker actually might be OP. Because if aim assist is just that strong, then a character that requires aim then doesn't actually require that much aim. And then she's OP. So yes, I do believe that balance will completely change from PC to console. So keep that in mind, guys. But finally, let's ask the question, is it fun to actually play with a controller? It, does it feel good? It, what's the game like when you play with a controller? Well, honestly, it's pretty fair. The game has more design philosophies in tune with console shooters than it does with PC shooters, like Quake and Unreal. It really feels more like a Halo, just with like super duper crazy abilities. So yeah, it, it's got more in tune with consoles anyway. So if you play with a controller, you will still have a genuine experience. It'll still be fun. It's still a great game at its heart regardless. So yeah, I do like it. I do think it is fun with a controller. So if you guys came looking for that answer, yeah, that's what I'm going to give you. Technically, there's some give and take and even between the different kind of controllers, there's still some nuances between them. And then whenever you are using a controller, how you have it set up per the characters as we've talked about. But simply, it's still fun with a controller. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something today and had fun. I'm Skylin Shore with Overking.com. The website and the channel respectively are both going to be updated constantly and consistently with Overwatch goodness. So favorite, like, and subscribe, bookmark, all that good stuff, and we'll keep the Overwatch gospel coming.